ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports and the National Association for Stock Car Auto Racing, welcome you live to Atlanta Motor Speedway and Georgia Pacific Bud Pole Qualifying for Sunday's Napa 500. And Dr. Jerry Punch, we're about to end another season. Tension they so desperately want that could help them rejuvenate their racing career. We're about to get started and we're proud to share the season finale with you from Atlanta. Hey, Kenny Wallace. Oh, nice qualifier. The fastest car in practice, Jeff Gordon. By the way, Kenny Walsh ran 29.494, average speed 187, 970. He's currently in fourth position. Let's go down to Dr. Jerry Punch. And Benny spoke with Jeff just a moment ago. He said, this is the car they used to set on the pole with Charlotte early in the year. They have two butt poles here, one at Darlington, one at Charlotte. This one was the car that gave him the front row at Charlotte. He said he has never won a pole here at Atlanta. And had one lap you saw him practice at the top of the charts was one wild lap where they blocked the car. He said, I'm not sure I can reproduce it. I'm going to try, but man, is it a little bit wiggly out there with the wind. He has never won a pole. His best start was second here in 96 Whoa. this race, but he's Whoa. on the provisional pole now. Wow. Whoa. Whoa. 28, 5, 3, 7. Average speed, not 194, 274. Jeff, you can breathe now, because I know you've held your breath for about 30 seconds. That is faster than he ran in practice. 194.274 for Jeff Gordon, and he is on the provisional pole position at the moment. Anderson qualified so far, and the fastest of them is Jeff Gordon. And when we come back, we'll talk with him. I even saw Bill Weber there. And right now, I'm in a hurry to get somewhere or something. It's pretty fast. Uh, I'm <laughs> in a hurry to go get my jacket after I leave you. Uh, wow, that's fast. Uh, I don't know how I could have gone any faster. The guys just did a fabulous job on the DuPont Chevrolet today. Uh, we, we, I think this is a car that we qualify on the pole with the Charlotte. So it's a very good car, especially for a track like this. But uh, we just were fine-tuning on all day. I was, I was real tight in practice, and they freed it up there the last couple runs. and. And it, it was uh, a lot of fun to drive. I enjoyed it. Did you have to hold your breath for 28 seconds to do that? Yeah, Brian White, so afterwards, asked me what the water temperature was. I said, who cares what the water temperature was? Ask me if I caught my breath yet. Uh, yeah, you do, because the car was a little bit on the edge. To get through the corners that fast, you got to keep it on the edge. So it's a little... A little uh, exciting. Can anybody beat that, Jeff? Oh, absolutely. This is Winston Cup racing. Anything can happen. And uh, I, I just know that I put the best lap that I possibly could, and the team put the best car underneath me they could. And uh, I just hope they have to work real hard to get it if they're going to get it. Good luck this week. Thank you. Appreciate it, Bill. Jeremy, second quickest in practice. Can you beat a 53? Pretty awesome lap by Jeff Ford. Yeah, it was. It's going to be a tough one. And uh, Jerry? And we told you this would be a weekend for sadness and also a weekend for celebration. This gentleman right here has given us so many wonderful memories over the years. 30 years, 84 victories, and Sunday he makes his 56th and final start at Atlanta. And Darrell Waltrip, my friend, it is sad, but it's also happy that you have given us so many wonderful things to think about over the years. So what goes through your mind here in the final qualifying session of your career? Well, I've been carrying this old suitcase around a long time, and... You know, it's gotten kind of heavy here lately. I think I'll just put her down, unpack her, and uh, spend some time at home with the girls. I'm looking forward to it. And, uh, you know, I've had a wonderful career. I've accomplished everything I ever hoped to, and the people have been wonderful. And, uh, I, you know, I just want to get this weekend over with. Uh, it, it's, uh, it'd be real easy for me to start crying right now, so I don't want that to happen. Let me just say this. Three times you stood on the stage at the end of the year. But for all of us at ESPN, for the millions watching at home, you will always be a champion. Yeah, well, they, you know, ESPN has been good friend all to all of us, and they've made us, help make us what we are. And it was exciting early on to win races and watch them back on ESPN. It never got no better than that, I can tell you. And good luck to you. Thanks. There walks the legend walking away on Sunday afternoon. Bob? With just two more to go, it would appear as if Jeff Gordon has the pole position for Sunday's Napa 500 here at Atlanta Motor Speedway. We'll wait, of course, until the official announcement can be made. I think we can safely give Jeff the trophy because Larry Foyt did run very fast over the Arca side, but I don't think he's going to run beat Jeff Gordon. So, winning his 33rd. 
NASCAR Winston Cup, Bud Pole is Jeff Gordon with a lap at 194.274. His Rick Hendrick teammate, Jerry Nadeau, will be starting alongside in row number one. Here's the pole sitter with Bill. Well, Jeff Gordon won the pole at Charlotte. You brought that car here. You're on the pole here. Congratulations. Thing's pretty fast for one lap, isn't it? Yeah. How about uh, Sunday? That's right. That's what we got to do now. You know, this, uh, this is a great way to, to wind down the season. This team has really been coming together. The chemistry is really there. And uh, that's what we want to do is have a real strong finish here and head into off season with something to work on to be a be a threat next year. And we, we feel like we will be. And uh, it's a great effort. I, I want to thank all the guys back at the engine shop, everybody at Hendrick. Uh, they, they just did a fabulous job preparing this car. Certainly want to thank all my guys. Uh, That's a, that a great effort. I did not know we had a shot at the pole today when we unloaded. But, uh, boy, it came together right at the right time. Well, we sure looked at that sheet and thought you did in practice. Well, at the end of practice, you know, I, I really did get a good lap. Uh, but I didn't think to myself whether I could back that up. That was a pretty sporty lap. And uh, to be able to back it up, that's, that's, that means a lot to me and this team. How was that car in race trim at Charlotte, Jeff? Um, well, I, I thought it needed a little bit of work. You know, we got caught up in that wreck, so we, we, we worked on the body. And uh, hopefully we massage on the body from after we tore it up enough to, to make it really good here. We were pretty good here the last time. Um, so I, I feel good. I think we're going to be in good shape. Okay, best of luck to you. All right, thank you, Bill. Jeff Gordon on the pole for Sunday's Atlanta Winston Cup race. And a reminder, our coverage from here at Atlanta Motor Speedway will include tomorrow at 9.30 Eastern Time, NASCAR Winston Cup Happy Hour, the final hour of practice prior to Sunday's event. Jeff Gordon wins the pole position for Sunday's race with a lap at 194.274. Coming up next, the Walmart Great Outdoors. Thanks for being with us here at Atlanta. For Benny, Jerry, and Bill, I'm Bob Jenkins. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. For more, log on to ESPN.com.